What's up, YouTube, record collectors and music lovers alike? Jordan here, making the last video of the night. Going to show you the records that I bought from the store next to Concert Connections in Alpena, Michigan. The store is called Whispers. Uh, these records were set aside from the one dollar uh, bins, I guess you could call them, and these were a minimum of three dollars a piece. Um, but they're pretty cool guy. There's a pretty cool guy there who kind of negotiated with me. I got all the records that I'm going to show you right here for a total of 60 bucks plus tax. No big deal. Um, but I feel like I got some really nice things. These were well kept. Um, they're mostly all in plastic cases uh, inside of their own sleeves and everything. So. Um, I got a really good deal I feel for 60 bucks so just gonna get to it and show you what I have here um, if you see something you like let me know in the comment section below um, if you have places that you go to buy records that you'd like to shout out you can reply and tell me about it maybe I'll check them out someday um, but uh, yeah let's uh, let's just get to it we're already a minute and we're taking a long time tonight <laughs> so starting off the bat these are in no particular order uh, we've got Peter Frampton comes alive one of the biggest best-selling uh, albums of all time. What record collection is not complete unless you have Peter Frampton comes live? Excellent. Moving right along, Steve Miller Band, um, Book of Dreams. I just I had to have it because it has Jet Airliner, Swing Town, Jungle Love. I mean, three huge songs, huge hits by Steve Miller Band. Cool artwork too. There's a lot of Jethro Tull in here. This one's Minstrel. Whoops. <laughs> uh, Minstrel in the Gallery. 1975. Big fan of Jethro Tull. Next up, we have Foreigner. This is like a collection of the greatest hits. I not only liked it because there were so many hits on it, but I like that it's kind of a, a jukebox style cover. Sometimes you just have to buy an album because of the cover. And I like I like this one. This this is a cool cool color cover for three bucks. I will definitely take it. Jethro Tull again, Living in the Past. There's uh, two records in here. A lot of these I haven't listened to yet. I just bought them on a whim, hoping that I do. Um, Thick as a brick. I've listened to this on YouTube, and it's an awesome awesome album. Cool cover again, guys. Like this is why this is why records are so cool. They're just so much better than CDs and MP way better than MP3s. If you appreciate music, especially old music, you just you can't get it. You can't get the um, feeling of satisfaction with an MP3 and digital. ELO Discovery. Um, I don't know a sing. Oh, I know. Don't bring me down. But other than that, I don't know a single song on the album. Looking forward to hearing it for the first time. Uh, this is like Jethro Tull A. Um, it's like their first non-folk album is what I heard, so I don't know if I'm going to like that, but three bucks, can't go wrong. Dire Straits, Brothers in Arm, saw Mark Knopfler in concert with Bob Dylan at the Fox Theater this uh, past year. He was awesome, so I wanted to get into him a little bit. We have Santana's Greatest Hits, weird album cover, don't know why it's uh, an African American holding a dove. Um, maybe I'll do some research about it. That's part of buying an album. You listen to it, and then you do a little research while you're listening. It's all good. Concert Connections does some really cool stuff. They keep them in like little plastic sleeves. Great way of keeping everything in good shape. They're all mint condition or near mint condition. I'd recommend them. You guys should check them out. Uh, Jethro Tull again, Heavy Horses. Um, I listened to Jethro Tull uh, through YouTube actually play live at Madison Square Garden and uh, he played a song called Heavy Horses um, and so when I saw this Heavy Horses the album I was like well I'll probably like it so I'm gonna give it a shot another Jethro Tull again I don't know they must all be bunched together Jethro Tull Stormwatch weird album cover <laughs> and uh, so Again, just trying it out. Never listened to a single song on there before. Dire Straits. I think this is their self-titled debut album. Um, Sultans of Swing is the song I recognized, and so took another took another shot. 
Um, this album was real, uh, really interesting. Uh, JFK, a memorial album with uh, the, let's see, actual speeches including the inaugural address, civil rights, Cuban rockets, Nixon-Kennedy debate, um, Berlin Wall, man, ask not, guys, what your country can do for you. Ask what you can do for your country. JFK. Too bad he got shot, you know. I think we're still all feeling the effects from that, even though it's happened so long ago. Things just don't seem to change. Ole Yellow. I like Yellow. They used to be my favorite band. Not so much anymore, but they're really cool still, I guess. Rush, Moving Pictures. Sorry about the glare, guys. I guess I'm just noticing that. Um, I saw a Russian concert, too, at DT at uh, Clarkston, Michigan. One of the best shows I ever saw. Another Jethro Tull, too old to rock and roll. Moving right along because we're starting to take a long time. Um, very early Joan, Joan Baez. If you haven't been able to tell yet, I'm a huge folk music fan. Bob Dylan's my favorite. Him and Joan dated, played together, so I really like Joan Baez. Next, really cool. Saw this, I knew I had to have it. Orson Welles, War of the Worlds. I'm old school, guys. I like old things. And this. When people heard this on the radio for the first time, they didn't know they were listening to a radio show. They thought it was real. They thought aliens were invading. caused a panic. Um, I had to have it. I'm going to listen to it soon. Can't wait. Eric Clapton, at his best. All of his hits. Layla, Bell Bottom Blues, After Midnight, Let It Rain. Good stuff, guys. Good stuff. Next, Eric Clapton's Rainbow Concert with Pete Townshend, Ronnie Wood, all kinds of, Steve Winwood, great, awesome stuff. After Midnight again, Little Wing by Hendrix, he covers that song, he does all kinds of cool things. Clapton's one of the best, the one they call Slow Hand. Room right along, Blues Brothers, uh, who doesn't like that movie? So, uh, had to, had to give that one a shot. Um, Last but not least, again, we did this completely random. Um, Endless Summer, The Beach Boys. Uh, I saw that, that this had four four records on it. Uh, Surfer Girl, Surfing USA, True to Your School, Little Deuce Coop, Fun, 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 I Get Around, oh my gosh, California Girls, Help Me Rhonda. Who doesn't love this st stuff, even if it is surfer music? All American Beach Boys. So that's it, guys. Those records cost a total of 60 bucks plus tax from Concert Connections in Alpena, Michigan. Really grateful for the guys there and the sales that they gave me. Um, I would totally recommend them to you. Check them out. Check out your local local stores, guys. Put an ad in your paper. It costs like 20 bucks to ask people for, hey, do you have a record player that works? Do you have records that you want to give me? And start a collection. Just listen to good music. Because, guys, rock and roll is here to stay. Take care, everybody. Peace.